Hey mates, it's me Riz, and I just want to finish Tide the Tasmanian Tiger, uh, finish and just you know put the ending up on YouTube saying that I beat it. But um, as you can see, when we last left off, the progression was in um, game one for fifty-eight percent. And between game one and game two, which is all the way until I finish the the boss on that section with the icy rings, I didn't record it. Uh, I played it back in the morning. I didn't think I was getting far, and I was just in game mode, like game face mode. So. Actually, it took like six hours to get the rest of the Thunder Eggs. And... Yeah, we're just gonna be starting off on where... Um, just starting off where I left off from here. Fortunately, this is the one where I have the, um, the cutscene. Yeah, we'll just show it up. These lightning thunder eggs are simply fascinating. Why is this so? Simply, they produce even more energy than all the other eggs combined. Oh dear. I hope it's safe to channel all that energy into my machine. Well, Ty, there's only one way to find out. No, oh, oh, it tickles. This must certainly be... A zappy rang! Ah, oh, sweet as! Oh, 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 be careful with the tie. It's quite a shocker. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, let's see, we got. Move. So. Zap. Zappy rang will. So basically, we just put the zappy rang. Uh, just this is supposed to be a little ge uh, generator machine here. We just do that, and this is where this was the point where I decided, you know what, maybe I do I record it, see if I can do a quick save here, and I made slight progress on some just a quick collectible on a previous level just to see if I could try and get all the cogs but oh, it was so I just gave up on it and I think I think should work out fine so some of the new rangs is the mega rang which it just targets multiple enemies we'll, we'll, you'll see but um this one the cut boomer rang Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, just did an explosive rang, so I'm going to be using this a lot, and this is the final boss, so I'm done rambling, so let's get into it. Oh yeah, we face, oh yeah. Did you take care of our little problem? Oh yeah, I fought this I guy um, but, um, after a lie, but he's stronger than I thought. Oh he's my gosh! Than you thought. How hard can it be? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> he has friends. The Bunyips are helping him. What? <laughs> then the stakes have been raised. To take over the wild, I must have those talismans. I need them to open the portal yeah. to the dream time. I already fought so this I guy. Banish all those annoying Didn't record it, unfortunately. Once and for all. Present company accepted, of course. Well, if our orange friend is so intent on finding the talismans, then I say, let him. My metal menace here will take care of him and steal back the talisman's boot. <laughs> it's so simple, it's brilliant. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. No one has ever come back from this inhospitable place. So tread carefully. Wow, that <laughs> it, it Yep. Oh my god, it just slows the frame rate. <laughs> Bump. This thing is so OP. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Easy. Not so so far so good. wondering what was is the, the last the levels that were there there was a um, snow level that was also a bushfire level um, the boss fight was some giant mecha yeti yeah. it's kind of tough but it was just trying to figure out how to defeat oh I was just trying to find a way how to defeat it. I say I see rank. Icy rank sounds a lot better than a frosty rank. Bad timing is what's going to extend this video. So after this, I think I would. Yeah. You know, after this, I am considering playing a little bit of Tide 2.
like this depends on what time it is. It, Ty. You're about to enter Boss Cass's lair. There's a lot of strife ahead, so do your fair dinkum best to make it through in one piece, okay, Ty? No worries. What's the matter, Murray? Sorry, mate. I've just got something in me eye, that's all. <sighs> ah, she'll be right, mate. She'll be right. Good luck, Ty. Good luck. So, yeah. just wondered why it was just what was up with the recording in the first one. It only says his catchphrases. Like they had a. All right, let's go. Ah. Those frills a thing or two. By the way, one of them dropped this. Does disturb my slumber. Oh, God, no. <laughs> what are you trespassers doing in my game? She was ever introduced at all. Oh. What? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Sorry. Uh, that it never. That never gets old. No! Nope. Oh. Wow. So switch.
kidding me? Uh. Oh, now it? Let's see, can I get this? Okay, I guess that works. Thanks, Possum. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! That was an. I feel like. I think that was an error. I think. I think they just. Uh, see, <laughs> stuff like that makes me think that this game was a mid-tier game. I mean, you had the big stuff like Jack and Dexter, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, and then there was the smaller stuff like um, like Ty. Then there was a game. There was a platform like Tack. Um, maybe Rayman. Maybe the Rayman games. Oh, at least it's um, what is it Rayman? I think there was like a Rayman 2 port on the PS2, and then came a sequel. I don't know, this I don't know. Try to cut the the studio a little bit of slack because you know, first platformer, but you know, I hope it got better I told you we'd meet again. I'm gonna enjoy this. Alright, another boss battle. Uh, uh that's it? What? What are you doing? I'm giving you a hand, mate. Let go of me. I... I you... You're gonna regret this. The boomerang wind sound is still coming. Huh. That might be just due to the emulation. Mm. <laughs> All right, final battle. At last, we come face to face. So, you're the troublemaker I keep hearing about? Well, this is the end of the line for you, you meddling rat! Okay. Oh! Flame phones! Uh. Oh! Uh. Where am I going? Is this another one of those? No. Uh. ring. No. Um. Zap. Zap. Oh! Uh. Oh! Wait. Uh. Maybe. 
Yay! There we go. Oh. Okay, freeze, bite. No. So it's a freezer. Alright. Wait, does that... No. Okay, so it's just... Alright. There we go. Why, you little... I'm gonna make you pay for that. Ten dollars. Hey, 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 stop that! Alright, um... Isn't that the sound effect from Scribble Note when you get a star? No, I'm serious. About that. Hold on. It is! Getting a Dr. Eggman vibe on this. No? Ty! You need this! It's just two bananas Sly! with a skull on it. What are you doing? What I should have done years ago. His name is Sly. Giving him a hand. Mate. After all I did for you? What? Lied to me? Good luck, Ty. You traitorous Tasmanian tiger. You beauty! Looks like looks like super nut is mixed with a skull. Yeah, you see there's little ends with a banana in. I don't know, it was, so is it. okay. Homing. It's a homing rank. Oh, Uh, there's police sirens in here. Well, Does it sound like the police uh, in this robot? Fuck! 
<laughs> this sounds as distracting me focus. No! Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh. No! We just killed a man. The talismans are back where they belong. Order is restored and chaos has been averted. Doesn't All feel like to it's you, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. No problem, mate. I'm just doing my job. Oh, it's his parents. <laughs> They're like what? No lines of dialogue? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um. We hope you enjoyed playing Tiger Tasmanian Tiger. Well. Okay. Thoughts on the game. This is the only time I get a chance to review it. Um, I did enjoy playing, uh, I did enjoy playing the game, it's just there were a lot of grindy moments, if that makes sense. So the lead, looks like the lead programmer was the voice actor for Sly. Um, so, during the PS2 era, there was a lot of these collectathons or 3D platformers. Just an evolution to the, um, from the previous generation in consoles. And so, it kind of became, there was like a dime a dozen of these, uh, mascot platformers. What are you still doing here? The game's over. Go read a book or something. No, I'm just talking about my final thoughts on the game. But oh, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, great. Um. Um. So, if you would have put this with all the other main 3D platformers, it's not something to write home about. But still, it's. Made competently enough. We'll say, um, for like the first uh, platform of this studio made, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. I can say that, but it's not the greatest uh, 2D platformer. Uh, first off, my biggest gripe. If if you were to put if I was to, let's say, if my parents were to give me this game, I would have enjoyed it well enough, but I think in today, if you were to play this again, they, I'm hoping with um, the remake they made with it, you can adjust, um, you could change the, the, the right analog stick on your camera view, because I had to switch it up switch my control set to in reverse um, but um, you know controls a bit rigid or floaty kind of hard to move and the special end jumps are a bit hard to do uh, but I think maybe all the kids who helped us with focus testing oh Kevin at the pizza store, Andrew at the toy store, and all the stuff at the local eateries, big fish, audio, and all of the partners and families that put up with us, never being there while we were working on this time. Welcome to the world. Memory of and then electronic arts. So, 
it's just that I don't know what I, I can think about this it's just kind of conflicting again uh, on its own it's a okay game but put it against uh, the other big giants of the 2D platformer and other cartoon mascots during the PS2 era it would struggle a lot to be played with those which since they made a seek two more seek two sequels oh well actually three if we're counting the fourth one which solves a 2d platformer not a 3d platformer but oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see I mean I'll see if they made future any impro what improvements they did with um oh no he the lead programmer did not voice Sly. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll give uh, Sly 2 a chance, or at least some recording on it. And, you know, if they've made any big improvements of it. But, um, would this be a game I would play again? Uh, not really. I mean, not unless if it's a hundred percent completion, but I'm not gonna do that. Look, I get when people um, talk about doing those um, 100% complete, but this was more of a slog in collecting stuff because I bet the idea was to make the worlds big, but they didn't put that much stuff in it. It's not as tightly made. If maybe they could have made things a little bit small, uh, much more smaller in areas, to then have more focus on where to collect stuff, it'd be a lot. Well, go on, scoot. Those are JPEGs, aren't they? Those logos. So it's just. during the making of this game. <laughs> All right. Is that it? Oh, sorry, mate. How dare you? That cost a lot of money. Wicked. Oh, he's I'm guessing that's why there's a sequel. He's <laughs> He's still gonna be the villain. Next. So. Now, one of the locals down at the watering hole reckons that if you find everything there is to find, then you'll open a portal to a mysterious world. Sounds like a load of hogwash to me, though. Nah, nah. Uh, unlike some, unlike say Spyro. It's just not a game I want to 100% because it's a slog. It's kind of a slog. It'd be mostly slogging it through. But, you know, if you're into those, into 100%ing, like 100% nada, by all means. But, man. Well, I just hope the next. Uh, the sequel is a lot better. But anyway, that's it for Tiger the Tasmanian Tiger. It's it's a fine game, but you know I see a lot of problems with it. Uh, in hindsight, with all the other, with all its other contemporaries in the 3D platform genre. Um, okay for the for a new studio who ma makes a new an IP, but you know, I'd reckon play the oh, you know what, I'm just rambling now, so next time we'll be going through the sequel we never we can tell the pilot's gone like the tiger of all, we